Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just the other day, I made a video on how to create this chimney equally on both sides of the house so you could use it in a jig. And if you haven't watched that video, you won't really understand what I'm talking about, but it's for a cutout. So you could um, cut that out and put, put other pieces of wood in there where the chimney would be on one side on one side, and then you turn it around and be on the other side, but the jig would hold both of them. But somebody emailed me today, asked me how I drew the house. Well, I did not draw the house for that video, but it's very easy. Just draw you a rectangle, put it in the center of the page, and that's real important. Get your polygon tool, turn your polygon to three-sided, and just draw your roof, hit P, and put it in the center of the page. That's an important step. Now, hold down the control button when you lift it up, and now it's in the, tell you what, we're going to make our house a little bit, it's a little bit too tall. But now, both of these are exactly in the center, and that's important. I'm going to go hit the weld tool. Now, let's build a chimney, and I'm going to show you how I did it symmetrically. I'm going to put a chimney like right there. I'll add a little flare to it. We'll take the other rectangle tool and put a little cap on it and go ahead and round off the corner just a little bit. Take and select everything again and hit your weld tool. Now here's the key. This thing is symmetrical. Control D and make a duplicate of it and then mirror that. So now our chimneys are duplicate or, or equal. But now take your virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Now you have two sets of lines there. But if you take your smart fill tool and fill it in, then take your smart fill away, left click, right click. Now this is all one, as you can see, this is two units still, or two drawings, if I can grab it. So you've got two drawings there, two sets of lines on top of a couple of other ones. But on this one, you do not. This is symmetrical, and uh, you could use this for a jig if you were doing a house. And what, if you don't understand, you could engrave with the chimney on the left, then flip the item over, and the chimney would be on the, or the vice versa, this with the left and the right. And then you could engrave, and the jig would hold it. I hope that it helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.